Now, what I'm going to assume is that the channel is noiseless, okay? So that this is the code word that was transmitted into the channel and this is what's received. This was transmitted and this is what was received and so forth. So we're going to look at the easy case. Obviously, you can then put in any other code digit errors that you wish. But we're looking at the case where every single code word managed to get through to the receiver without error. And so the first thing we do is we write down the code words underneath it. And we begin the, what is now referred to as the Viterbi algorithm. Well, the algorithm is really simple. It's just best understood by example. You can actually read all the material related to the Viterbi algorithm and get confused or simply look at this video and notice how simple it is. So this is the state 0, 1, 2, 3. And I'm going to write a number 0 there, which is referred to as the metric. Now, this will make sense as we move along. Just bear with me and you'll see how easy it is. So what we do is we look at the very first state and we look at the branches coming in. Now, this is the lower branch. This is the upper branch. Okay, so this is a branch code word. This is a branch code word. This is the received word. And what we do is that we first look at the, we first look at this particular state and we, we look at the branches coming into it. Okay, we're looking at the ones coming into it and we say, okay, what is the hamming distance between this branch code word and this word? Well, that's just the number of bits which don't match or different. So this is zero, that's a one. So that's one plus one. So the hamming distance between this and this is two. They differ in two positions. So I can write the number two here. The hamming distance between this branch word and the received word here is zero. We then add two to the metric here and we say zero plus two is two and 0 plus 0 is 0 and then you can see that the smaller one is this so we're gonna kill this branch off and we're gonna write the resultant metric here as 0. Okay let's continue this will make sense as we move along so let's now take a look at this particular state and look at the branches coming in and we have the hamming distance between this word and the received word is 1 1 plus 0 is 1 Hamming distance between here and here is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. In this case, we have the branch metric here both the same. So you can randomly select one. So let me randomly kill this one and keep this one alive. And we're going to put the number 1 here. Now, move along to the next state here. And we have the Hamming distance between here and here is 0. 0 plus 0 is 0. Between this and this is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. And so clearly we kill this off and we put the resultant metric here as zero. Let's now move along here. Hamming distance between this and this is one. One plus zero is one. Hamming distance between this branch word and the code word is one. You can see the different one position. One plus one is one. They're both the same, so I can randomly kill any branch and keep the remainder as one. So what I have is a metric which has changed from 0, 0, 0 to 0, 1, 0, 1. And I will explain what this means in a while. For now, let's just continue the algorithm. We then take the next word and we say, we look at the next incoming state and we say, okay, hamming distance between here and here is 1. 1 plus 0 is 1. Between here and here is 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. And so we remove that and we'll keep the metric 1. And then here, looking at this state here, we have the hamming distance between this branch word and the received word is 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, so we'll put a 0 there. And between this and this is 2, 2 plus 1 is 3, so we can kill that and we keep the minimum metric every single time. And then we come along here and we say, okay, 1 and 1, so that's a metric of, it's a hamming distance of 1, 1 plus 0 is 1. And between here and here is a hamming distance of 1. 1 plus 1 is 2. We can kill that and keep, keep that branch alive. And then we come down here and we say that the hamming distance between that branch word and the received word is 2. 2 plus 0 is 2. 
between here and here, 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. And so we kill that particular branch and we write the metric here. So you can see that at every stage, we have only four surviving branches. Now let me show you the four surviving branches, okay, in yellow. So we have this branch is alive, because that was killed. This one is alive. This one is alive. And this one is alive. And the same thing would be true here. There would be only four. This is a feasible branch. This could have happened. This could have happened. This could have happened, and this could have happened. So the ones shown in yellow are allowable. Now, obviously, we know that the encoder started in the all zero state, so you might say, well, this has to be the correct answer. But we'll work towards that in a while. Let's continue. Hamming distance between this and this. I'll move faster now. Okay, so that's 2, 2 plus 1, so that's 3. 2 plus 1 is 3. If I make a mistake, don't worry about it. This is zero, so that's zero, so then we'll put a zero inside there and remove that. I'll let you worry about the mistakes, if there are any. Let me just show you the algorithm. Uh, one and one, so that's... I mean, distance of one, one plus one, so that's two here, okay? And between this and this, well, we've got a distance of one, one plus one, so that's two, so I'll just kill that one off and keep a two there. Between here and here now, I'm looking at this branch now. I'm looking at this state here, so 1 and 1, so that's 0, 0 plus 1 is 1. And then having distance between this branch and this one is 2, 2 plus 0 is 2, so we can kill that branch and keep this one alive. And then here we have 1 plus 1 is 2, between this we have 1, 1 plus 1 is 2, so we'll just kill that off and put a 2 there. And then, looking at this state here, we have Hamming distance of 2, 2 plus 0 is 2. Between here and here, the Hamming distance is 0, 0 plus 9 is 2, so let's kill that one off and put a 2 there. And then, between this and this, the Hamming distance is 0, so we, we put a 0 there. And between this and this is 2, 2 plus 2 is 4, so that definitely disappears, and we've got a 0 there. And um, between this and this is 1, 1 plus 1, so that's 2. Between this and this is 1, 1 plus 2, that's 3. And that disappears, leaving a, a metric of 2. So that we have a metric of 2 here, 0, 2. Oh, we forgot to do this. 1 plus 1, so that's 2. 0 and 1, so that gives you 1, 1 plus 2, that's 3, so we can get rid of that and put a 2 inside there. And I know it's painful, but there you go. 0, 1, 0, 1, so that's 1, 1 plus 1 plus 2, so that's 3, that and that. Um, I mean, distance is 1, so that's 3, so let's kill that, put a 3 there, any one randomly. Let's do this one. It's a hamming distance of 2 between this word and this word. 2 plus 0 is 2. 0, 1, 0, 1. So that's a hamming distance of 0. 0 plus 2 is 2. Kill anyone and put a 2 there. Now I'm looking at this state here. Let's look at the incoming here. We have a hamming distance of 1, 1 plus 2. So that's 3. Between here and here we have 1. 1 plus 2, 3, and put a 3 there, and knock off any one of those. And then between this and this we have a 0, 0 plus 0 is 0, and then this is a distance of 2, so that's 4, and so we've got a metric of 0 there. 0, 1, 0, 1, so that's 1, 1 plus 3 is 4. 1 and 1, so that's a hamming distance of 1, 1 plus 2, so that's 3, so this is 3. And then this and this, well that's a hamming distance of 2, 2 plus 3, so that's 5. This and this gives you a 0, so that's 0, that disappears, and we get a 0 there. And 
I mean distance of 1, 1 plus 3, so that's 4. Looking at this branch here, we have 1, 1 plus 2, so that's 3. So that disappears, we've got a metric of 3. And then we have, between here and here, we have 0, so that's 3. Between here and here, we have 2, 2 plus, that's 2, so that disappears, giving you a 2. And the final one is looking at this state here now. We have between this and this a metric of a hamming distance of 2. 2 plus 3 is 5. Between this is 0, so we have a 0 knocking off this, and we have a 0. And then between this and this we have a 0, so that's 3. Okay, I've missed one. I'll come back to it. Between this and this, so that's 2. 2 plus that's 2. Get rid of that. Put a 2 in there. And then between this one and this one is 1. 1 plus that is 4. This one here, that's 1 plus 2, that's 3. Get rid of that. Put a 3 in there. And uh, how many distance between that is 1. 1 plus that is 4. Between here and here is 1 plus 2, that's 3. Get rid of that and put a 3 in there. Now we simply look at the, the metrics on the very last code trellis. And we simply trace back. So we say, okay, what's the minimum metric? 0, 3, 2, 0. So that's the minimum metric, okay, the minimum one. And we trace back, and you can see that that path was killed. So we come along here. Okay, we're tracing back from the very last code trellis. And we're looking at the minimum metric, and we're tracing back. And we're saying, okay, that branch was knocked off, so then this must be the one which we must have traveled before. And then we look at this and we say, okay, well, that's knocked off, and so it must have been this. And then here, and then from here, this is blocked, so we move down here, we're tracing back. And then this one, and then this is blocked, so then we end up here. And you can see that we managed to trace back from the zero state to the zero state. If we now output the information bits on this branch, so we're looking at this particular bit and we say the output is a 1. Let me use a 1. I'm extracting that here. It's a 0. That's a 0. That's a 1. Between here, this is a 1. Here you've got a 0. And there you've got a 0. And voila! If you check this, with these, you will find it's exactly the same. So we managed to decode the information digits using the Viterbi algorithm by simply taking the code trellis, concatenating it, and then taking the code words that were received from the channel, putting them underneath one after the other, building up the trellis using the Viterbi algorithm looking at the final metric and doing a trace back. Now let's take a look at what exactly these metric numbers mean.